As we enter the fifth year of the Syrian crisis, 21 aid organizations in the UK issued a damning report to the UN Security Council. The report criticizes the Security Council for failing to implement effective measures to alleviate human suffering in Syria. This week, DevX shines a light on a generation raised in conflict in the second week of our Youth Will campaign, Youth Will Build Peace. DevX is examining how young people and international aid organizations build peace in meaningful ways around the world. Stay tuned for the third and fourth weeks of DevX's Youth Will campaign, Youth Will Create Opportunity and Youth Will Lead Tomorrow. The World Health Organization has appointed six experts to lead the assessment of its controversial response to the Ebola crisis in West Africa. Critics in recent months have slammed the WHO for investing too few resources too late in the Ebola crisis. In addition to the new appointments, the WHO announced a partnership with the UN World Food Program to coordinate their efforts in West Africa and to help coordinate efforts for future epidemics. DevEx featured commentary this week on the Sustainable Development Goals from two leading economic thinkers, Bill Easterly and Jeffrey Sachs. Sachs called sustainable development the calling card of our time and seemed hopeful for the SDGs. Easterly, in a reaction unsurprising to many, criticized the SDGs for too broad a focus on sustainability. In the United Kingdom, aid groups are watching the country's new foreign aid bill very closely. The bill passed its final parliamentary hurdle this week and is on its way to becoming law. The UK has met criticism over a lack of clear guidance in its aid policy. Despite ambitious goals and milestones, like leading the effort in aid transparency and accountability. With the passage of the bill, the aid community is shifting its focus from quantity to quality and will now ask questions about how effectively UK has implemented aid. For this and other great stories, log into devex.com.